In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design a super easy plant logo in Photoshop. So, hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny, and in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how you can design a super easy, quick logo in Photoshop. Now, recently, I had a client who asked me to design something around his storage solution for plants. So, again, his company name is Plant, and they have storage solutions with boxes where you can put your plants in. So, again, this is the whole company name and also slogan and the little box design with it. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do this very simple logo. Great. So let's get right away into it. As you guys can see here on the right hand side, again, I have my folder already ready. And also I've created a few different elements again with text, two different fonts here. And again, some shapes that I've used to create this box and super easy to do this. Now let's start right away from scratch here. First of all, I've added again in a background here just as a plan to present that to the client so it looks a bit nicer. So again, a black background. Then again, a green background here just with some plants. Then on top of that, the shape and the text. Great, so let's get started right away from scratch. You want to know what background I've used? You want to download my PSD design, shapes or brush files? Or you just want to improve on your Photoshop design skills? Then my 101 Photoshop design course is for you. This course includes 101 for beginner designers. Learn and design your own custom designs. All work materials are provided such as PSD, shapes and brush files, all ready for you to download and practice on. Over 60 lessons and all future updates are for free. If this course is for you, then simply click on the little info button on the right hand side, select the design course and receive a reduced $10 entry today. Now, if you're completely new to Photoshop, please have a look on the channel. I've created another tutorial teaching you how to start out with the canvas size. Once you got that ready, you can start going down here and create your first empty layer. This will be again our first background layer. This might be black or white, depends on your design again. Now, what I want to do is just take the marking tool, select all of it, hit right click inside of the selection, say fill and over here fill with black contents. Okay, great, so we have a black canvas here. I'm gonna press Command D. I'm working with the Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. So Command D now, get out of the selection. And next step, I'm gonna introduce a background. So basically, I'm go I went again to graphic stock and got this background here. I'm just gonna drag it all the way to the top. And now I still have a filter attached to this. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is just switch off my filters here hit right click and say rasterize layer. So this is what the background actually looks like. Okay, great. So this is again our background and on top of that, we're gonna start out now with our design. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to view and create some guidelines as usually. So new guide down here, I'm gonna say 50%. Okay, vertically, yes. And again, view and new guide again, horizontally, also 50%. Great, okay, so we've got that ready. Next up that I want to do is also now put out the text tool. So again, I'm gonna write out the text right away. Select the text tool over here on the left hand side and I'm gonna make a nice big selection. So again, I'm gonna write down with capital letters, again, plant here, that's the company name, okay, plant, and it has already selected the right font, which is Cousinet Bold. You guys can also find that again in the description down below. And my font size is around 50 something. So I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger, something around 60 to 70. So let's go in between 67. And that's good enough actually. Okay, also with my tracking, I wanna have a look here, minus 120. So you guys can actually see it better now. So the letters are actually overlapping each other. That's what I'm looking for. Again, I'm gonna select all of it. Also choose a new color here. And I'm gonna go with the white. So that just stands out a little bit more when I do the complete design now. I'm gonna hit OK and accept it from the top. I'm still happy with my tracking over here. Accept that. And we also have the overlapping. So if you don't want the overlapping, you should actually play a little bit more with your tracking here on the right hand side. Okay, I'm gonna move that first of all just into the center and we're gonna put the slogan right away underneath of that. So again, back to the text tool here. And what I'm gonna do now is also select or make a selection here, and we're gonna write in the slogan, which is again now for this company, obviously storage solution. So, okay, written all of that out, storage solution, and you guys can see it's still too big. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is make it nice and small. 
something like that. I'm going to choose a different font again. And for that, I'm going to choose again Hellfittiger Neue, which you guys can also find again in the description down below if you want to find this font. Okay, so we've selected it. Next step that I want to do is choose a different mode here. So not bold, it should be just light and super slick. And as well, the tracking also play a little bit with that. Uh, before I do that, let's also play now just with the size. So maybe 10. Well, okay, let's try 12. Yeah, and 12 looks a bit better. Okay, then also my tracking on the side, also maybe just at zero for the start. And then we want to stretch that out a bit, maybe to 100. Yes, okay, I'm going to accept that. And take the move tool, just place that over here. And what I'm basically looking at now is that the storage here starts underneath of the P and also the S here from solutions ends under the T. So it's a little bit too short still. I'm going to select all of it again and just play a little bit more with the tracking. So maybe 120. Yep, and that's good too. Okay, and accept it. And now it ends right away here. If I'm just going to drag out a guideline, it ends right away over here. And over here, you guys can correct that a little bit more. I'm just doing it super quickly. Okay, zoom out of that again. And we have plant and storage solution here on the right hand side. We can take both of these layers now and just move them over a little bit. We're going to work with that in a moment. And now what we want to do is add a little logo. So basically a little bit of a box logo that he asked me to do. And I actually have a super easy technique for that. So first of all, I'm going to create a new empty layer. That's going to be my first shape. Then I'm going to go back to the shapes tools over here, back to the shape library and Photoshop has a standard uh, shape that you can get in your shape library, which is basically this arrow over here. So I'm going to double tap on that, select it, hold shift on the keyboard now. So it's equally expanding. And first of all, I'm just going to make a nice big shape over here. So it might look a little bit weird still a little bit too arrowy. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is go to edit transform and say flip or rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now, what I want to do is stretch this a little bit again. So I'm going to press again, command T and just stretch this out like this a little bit. Okay. Also going to make it a bit smaller. Great. A little bit more actually. And this again, I'm also doing this quite quickly. Take a bit more time when you do this like so. Okay, and that is how my shape looks like at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do is exactly the same. I'm just going to duplicate these layers. So I'm not creating a new shape now. I'm just going to drag this down a bit. And then as well, pressing Command J to duplicate this layer now. So Command J once. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Okay, you guys can also use the cursors again, up and down. And now again, Command J, duplicate that once again. Move it all the way to the top. Go to Edit, Transform and flip vertically. Okay, now with my cursors, go left and right. So you're putting it in the right position and just taking it all the way down until it comes to the first starting point again. So somewhere over here down below. So it's still a bit further with again, my cursors here. I'm going to press now Command Shift and H all together to hide these outlines here from the path because they're irritating a bit. And there you guys can see it right away we have created kind of a box in a way. It looks like a top box and a bottom here. So that's again how I created the box. Again, I'm going to take all of these three layers here, press Command J, put that together in a group. And that is maybe just our box shape here. Great. Then again, our text, we can take both of these layers. It's very easy to select both. Just hold Command on the keyboard, select the layers and then press Command G, put it together in a group and write text again. So your stuff is just sorted and you know where what is in case you need to go back and change things again. I'm going to take the select tool or move tool and just take my plant here. And again, I can see that I'm almost correct. I need to do a little bit of a correction. What I want to do is let's maybe go to view, clear the guides and take out a new guide. I want to see that the box edge here ends with the P and as well here at the bottom as well. So I'm going to zoom in a bit closer and you guys can see there's a bit of a difference still. So let's take box shape. I'm going to zoom out, press command T again on the keyboard so we can transform this. You can now also scale this a little bit more if you want to stretch it still, stretch it longer or make any different changes to this. So I'm basically going to hold shift. Okay, no, not shift actually. Sh yeah, shift on the keyboard. So it's equally decreasing again and just taking it down until it reaches here my guidelines. Accept that from the top. Move tool again, 
and with the cursors a little bit to the left and the right you guys can hear how I'm hitting my keyboard here and yeah that's it okay let's zoom out a little bit again and we can go to view clear the guides and da -da, we have created a really cool little simple logo just with a little box with shapes and planned as the company name and storage solution last I'm still gonna take box shape and text move that all the way to the center here so our previous guidelines would come in handy now but I've deleted them already clever okay so that's again say in the center now next thing that I want to do so everything stands out a bit more I'm gonna take here again our background layer and just decrease that a bit more so the white font and everything stands out so maybe like a 50 percent and I'm still gonna add a bit of a blur effect on top of the background layer so again to filter blur Gaussian blur and something around 3 3.9 that's good enough already I don't want to blur too much I'm gonna hit OK and there we go we've created exactly the same logo as before obviously I've done this a bit quicker than before so take a bit more time when you do this but yeah that's it how to create a simple easy storage solution planned logo in Photoshop so yeah that's basically it for this tutorial guys thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this content please give me a thumbs up there share it with all your buddies who are new to Photoshop and don't forget to subscribe thanks again for watching guys I'll see you all in the next tutorial bye bye